Franny, yeah, great to see you. It's been an amazing day for you. Just talk us through your emotions because it was such a, so emotional out there, pitch side at half time. Yeah, the, 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 the welcome that the, the, the supporters gave me um, was absolutely incredible. I, I, I always knew I was coming to the stadium on a, on a match day and there'd be supporters here, but to get that welcome was absolutely incredible. I didn't realise that uh, they, they'd show that much uh, support and affection. So it's, it's something that will live with me forever. And, and how's the body feeling? Because what you've put yourself through is, is an incredible effort. You feel, feeling good or feeling a bit tired at the moment? Um, I, I think I'm still running on, a little bit on adrenaline from the day, you know, and the, the support that I've received. So uh, maybe, maybe there will be that little downside when, um, you know, I get home and sort of relax a little bit more. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased not to have to be getting up early tomorrow morning and running another, another 40 to 50 miles, I must admit. How did you get through the challenge, Franny? Because there were a few moments where you were really emotional. Um, was it just the support of your friends and family and, and the cause that you're, great cause that you're running for helped get you through? Yeah, no, most definitely. Uh, you know, the, the, the family have been incredible to not just accompany me every day on the challenge itself, but, you know, the whole build up, the months beforehand, the work that they've actually put in, the hard work they did on the challenge itself. But, you know, they, they were there to support me emotionally uh, as well as just in every other way on, on the challenge and, and, and the support team were, were, were amazing. You know, my physio Kelly and, and, and Dino from Forcom, the main sponsors, were, were superb. And, uh, you know, I, I quite literally couldn't have, couldn't have completed the challenge, I don't think, without them and all the other people that sort of dipped in and out and run some miles with me or sent a message of support. Uh, that, you know, that, that was what really helped me push me through back here to St Mary's. And of course people can still donate but there's been so much money raised already that is fantastic that it goes to cancer research and, and what a cause it is. You've met some of the people who've been affected by cancer and, and to help them it must feel brilliant. Yeah, most definitely. But there's still, you know, opportunities to donate. We've we've raised over a hundred thousand pounds at this point. I hope the donations continue to come in because I'd I'd obviously love to give uh, a bigger check as possible to Cancer Research UK, which is an incredible charity and uh, like I say, it'd make, make all the, the painful steps throughout the challenge that much more worthwhile. And just to finish the challenge here at St Mary Stadium, can it really find a, a better ending? Most definitely not. It's, it, it was coming home. Um, and, you know, that was always a, a, a driving factor, along with a lot of other thoughts as well, to, to get through each day and know that you're one step clearer or closer or another day nearer. To, to actually arriving back here. So to be stood here today knowing that we've completed the challenge is, uh, is an amazing feeling.